guys Midas back with another TypeScript video today I just like to apologize for not releasing videos in the past week I haven't been feeling so well so I wouldn't be clear on on my videos that's why I didn't record and uh, most of the time actually I was just not doing anything just sleeping and trying to recover so so today we're back with another TypeScript video so I'm gonna be uh, teaching you about adding things and removing things from from our array and before we can get started please click the subscription button below and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video and so you don't miss any future videos so so we can keep learning together now let's go so in our previous video we looked at iterating through our array using uh, a for loop and uh, querying things from our array using the index and things like that so today we'll be looking at more methods on our array I'm just gonna comment that out just in case we need code from there so let's start off with uh, adding things on to to our array so let's say we have no nope, don't do that yeah uh, we have uh, I'm just gonna zoom out one Nope. So our numbers, we're going to have our numbers array here. So we have a number, and then we have array, and then we have an empty array there. Now let's say we wanted to add something onto our array. So we're actually able to just tell TypeScript that add this number at this position. So something like, so we know how to, let's say we wanted to add it uh, a number at position 0, right? numbers and then you want to go and then you want to add one there so let me just console log that just to see what we get so numbers so just gonna nope to see and then I'm just gonna run no run that so we added something onto array so let's say we wanted to add another one just after that we want to add no we want to add another one there right just going to compile it again run it and then we have two right so we are essentially adding things to the end of our, our array so when we started here our array was empty so there was nothing at position zero so if we add zero uh, at position zero we add one now we have at this point we have one thing in our array right and then after that we're adding at position one because we know that we added something onto position zero in the previous uh, instruction here but let's say you just wanted to add something to the end of your array but you actually don't know the size of your of your array if you just try you're just starting out and you don't you actually have no knowledge of about uh methods on your array someone might just try to write a function themselves, right? So let's uh, let's write a a function that adds to the something to the end of our array, right? So now let's do let's do this. So we have a, we write our function and then we call it. So I'm just gonna remove this log here. A function and we call it add to array, right? Which takes in. So I'm gonna do that quickly. So it takes in an array, array. Of numbers right and the thing that you and the number you want to add so uh, just call it X so that's the number you want to add to array so we want to add to the end of our array we know that the index would be the position in the array right we know that if uh, our array is empty then that means uh, the the index that we should add to is what zero and zero is the length of our array now if our array is has length one we know that at index zero we have something and then at index one we have nothing but index one is the length of the array at that point so we could essentially use the length of our array to add things onto our array so so that, like i explained so we can actually just go const index so our index, our new index, would be actually array 
dot length. So you already know that's the end of our array. Now, if we want to add something to the end of our array, that will be our index. So now what we want to do is add the value x to the end of our array, right? So if I go array index is actually equals to x, sorry. So we added something onto our array. So let's try and use our, our function, right? So we have numbers, no, sorry, add to array. We give it our numbers, 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 and we want to add one. So we have that, and then we want to add two to the end of array, and then actually want to add three to the end of array. Let me just compile that quickly, compile that, and then run it. Oh, nothing because we didn't log it. Let's let's just log it onto our screen. Just log our our numbers. Yep, there. So we compile it again. And then now we have one, two, three, right? So we were actually able to add things to the end of our array at every point in time when we... So now, because when we, to start off with, we had our numbers array being of length zero. And then after we added one to it, the length was one. After we added that to it, the length was two, so on and so forth. So that's a, that would be a way you would do it if you just like didn't know much about... Uh, I'm just going to... Let me just remove this quickly so you can have some space so that's that's a method you would use maybe if you did if you do know some of the uh, the methods on your arrays there's actually a simpler way to do this so uh, to achieve the same thing we actually don't need to write any function for of ourselves so we don't need to write any function ourselves so there's actually a method on the array that you can use to add things to you so I'm, let me comment this guy out right actually I'm gonna just write it here so if i go numbers here i'm just going to comment this like that so i'm going to go numbers dot push and then we want to push here we pushed uh, so we pushed we added value one here so we can actually just do one there right and then we can actually do the same thing for for the others so comment that out and then we want to here we added two Added two there, and here we can do the same thing, and then we add three. So I'm just gonna do that, compile it again, run. Oh, actually, add a 13 there, so we wanted to add a three, but you can see the gist of it. So that's just, that's how I run it again. So we have one, two, three which is the same result we got when using our own function over here. So, which is pretty cool, right? So we could actually write our own methods to use on, on our arrays, like just applying what we learned in, in our previous videos, right? So this is actually fun. So now, let's say you wanted to remove uh, the last element on, on your array. So there is a, a method on, on the array called pop, which uh, removes the last entry in your array. Let's see how that works. So I'm just going to now just try and label this and say before, before pop. So because we'll be removing things from array. So now if I go numbers.pop, just like that. You don't even have to do anything more. Just like that. That removes... Uh, that removes the last entry in your array. So now, if I just go there and compile it quickly, and then run it. So now, before the pop, so so we started off by adding one, two, three onto our array, and then we, cons we logged it there. This is what we see here, which is one, two, three. And then we removed one thing from our array, and then after the pop, we get that three has been removed. So you can run pop again, pop, and again, pop. And then now we expect our array to be to be to be empty. Now let's say just say we want to pop again. So compile it 
and run. So actually nothing happens. Since, since our array is empty, it doesn't matter how many times, how many pops you do after your array is empty, it'll always return that, uh, that empty array because we're not, we don't have anything in there. So yeah, so we'll be learning some more methods on, on, uh, on arrays. Maybe you want to remove, uh, something at a certain position, or maybe you want to remove it depending on some conditions. So we'll be tackling some problems in the, in the next video. So, uh, this week I will be releasing, uh, more videos just to catch up for, for lost times last week. So keep, uh, keep tuning in and don't forget to subscribe, share with your buddies and let's learn.